What is up Dream Media family? This is Zach and today I have a very exciting video for you guys. You guys know that we are a big JVC nationwide dealer and I am just dying to give you guys some content on these new JVC laser projectors. I'm gonna be bringing Chris Deutsch on the video today and he's gonna be showing you a first look at the new 1100, the RS1100 and the RS2100. Let's go! <laughs> Hello, I'm Chris, and today we're going to talk about the two most popular price points uh, models for JVC DILA projectors. We're going to talk about the DLA RS2100, which is the one that we're showing here, which is our 2200 lumen laser projector. And we're going to talk about the DLA RS1100, which is our 1900 lumen lamp based projector. And uh, what they share in common, for starters, uh, they're both HDMI 2.1, so they have the newest HDMI chipset. They're 48 gigabits per second uh, compared to the old HDMI 2.0, which was only 18 gigabits per second. That is ideal for devices like the Apple TV 4K, which now has HDMI 2.1, the Xbox Series X, and the PlayStation 5. All of those devices have HDMI 2.1, and for gamers, this supports 4K at 120 frames on the lamp-based model, and both 4K at 120 frames and 8K at 60 frames on the laser model. Uh, these projectors also both have the JVC Frame Adapt HDR, which I have highlighted here, so we have true dynamic tone mapping. We can adjust the picture. We can choose either on a frame by frame basis or a scene by scene basis for the absolute optimum picture quality. A lot of people don't understand dynamic tone mapping. Hollywood does not have an industry standard for mastering 4K HDR brightness. I have discs that are 1000 nits. I have discs that are 10,000 nits. I also have di discs that are only 181 nits. So obviously the right picture setting for a title that is 181 nits is not the same as the right picture setting for a title that has 10,000 nits. What dynamic tone mapping does is it takes the brightness of that content and it matches it to your system. Okay, the way that it knows what we have is we have a theater optimizer. So in the theater optimizer, we're able to input the screen size, the screen aspect, and the screen gain. Based on that, it will calculate the appropriate settings for the dynamic tone mapping. It will also give us the ability to input a screen code for the actual screen material. In this case, I have an SI black diamond, and so my code is 065. Once I've done that, it's completely automatic when I'm playing 4K HDR. The other thing that we have to do for setup is we go to our automatic picture mode select. JVC can recognize all of the most popular signal types and we can tell it the correct picture mode for each of them. A common question is what about Dolby Vision? None of the premium home theater projectors support Dolby Vision, but this is still a perfect solution for watching Dolby Vision content. I have an Apple TV, so I can pick whatever movie I want on my Apple TV. It will send the correct HDR10 signal to the projector. The projector will use the frame adapt HDR, and it will use that true dynamic tone mapping to give me the best possible picture with any Dolby Vision content. And this is true, and it works exactly the same way on the RS1100 and the RS2100. So the big difference is the RS1100 is a lamp-based projector. The RS2100 is a laser-based projector. The benefits of laser, uh, firstly, it's the extremely long life. The, la the laser is rated for 20,000 hours. Okay, that's just amazing. A lamp by comparison in high power is rated for 3,500 hours, okay? Um, the laser models turn on a little faster than our lamp models, and they turn off a little faster than our lamp models. And they also let out a little less heat into the room. Now, conversely, the lamp model, 
you could say, well, first of all, it's giving me almost the same identical picture quality as the laser model. The only difference is 300 lumens in brightness. It's rated at 1900 lumens. The other difference is that when we are uh, at 3,500 hours and we do purchase and install a new lamp, we go back to 100% of the original brightness. So people like that. Either way, you can't go wrong. Of course, also obviously with the lamp model, you're saving a significant amount of money. But either way, you're getting the same JVC picture quality. And I want to close on that. The JVC projectors use DILA imaging chips. Both of these projectors are a three chip design and the DILA characteristic is the best black level and the best contrast of any projector in the industry. So combine the picture quality of DILA with the performance of true dynamic tone mapping and the ease of automatic picture mode select and you have two exceptional projectors for your home theater. All right, guys, that is a wrap on our overview of the new JVC laser projectors. These things are going to be hot this year in 2022. And guess what, guys? We have them in stock and ready to ship. So if you guys are interested in purchasing anything home theater related, including these new JVC projectors, make sure to reach out and speak with our specialists. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. If you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.